gonna be, I'll be down to my underwear, I'll be sweating out here. Whew, you don't wanna see that. Today in the wood yard, clean up and stacking. Right over here, here we go. Today all I have is just a few hours and I have to go do some other stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on cleaning this area up here, stack the rest of this stuff right here over there, and then I'm gonna start working into the pile this direction. And I also have a bunch of cookies and chunks over there I'm gonna try to put on the top of the bin over there. I think I can fit a little bit more in there, but it's getting pretty darn full. But yeah, I'm down to all this scrap stuff and I'm trying to pull out all the useful stuff. You know, everything that is, you know, like this, I can sell or give away for kindling, but when it gets down to this little stuff like this, I just chuck it. It would be nice, I guess, if I would clear it out and, you know, put it into bags or buckets or something and use it for burning, but I just don't have time. I've got very little time the way it is with everything I got going on that to play with all that little bitty stuff would just take too much of my time and it's not worth it for me. Um, there might be a time, some of you have suggested that I should bag it and sell it. There might be a time where I'll, I'll start bagging some of this stuff, but it's all mixed with sawdust too, so it kind of needs to be cleaned somehow. I mean, there could be some way of, of, you know, sifting it, sorting it out, putting it into bags and selling it. Might happen in the future, but not today. So we're going to get to stacking and cleaning right now. So I thought I'd do a little voiceover while I'm doing some labor here. Um, one of the things that comes up a lot, and I did mention it already, is that what do I do with all the waste? I've been just dumping it in my woods, the sawdust basically, and all the small chunks. And yeah, it would be smart of me if I had the time to sift it somehow and get more of the chunks out and then bag it and sell it, which I know guys do that, and it would, it would be good kindling. And I used to make kindling for people and sell it, but I sold very little of it and I really didn't push it, didn't advertise it much. I, I suppose I could. And now that I'm producing more of it, um, I do pull out the kindling, you know, the longer full pieces, and I've been bundling that. But I generally just give that away to my really good customers, people that are buying large quantities of wood. You know, if someone orders two or three full cords from me, I'll give them a couple bundles of kindling. Or if it's someone that every year orders a full cord, I'll, I'll take them a free bundle and just give it to them. They're very happy, and, and that's kind of the thing that I do that is keeping customers happy and making use of the actual you know, wood. Um, for those of you that are selling the small chunks and bagging it, I'd be curious to find out, you know, how are you bagging it? How are you sorting it? How are you filtering it to not have, you know, a ton of sawdust mixed in with it? Because when I cut and split, it's kind of right in the same area. Um, I'm assuming that's what you probably have a problem with too. Um, it would be nice to have the sawdust be filtered out separately and I would use the sawdust uh, for something else. I would make trails in my woods or something for my photography business. And the small chunks would be nice to actually sell in bags. Um, I guess I'm wondering what kind of bags, how big are the bags, where do you get them at, um, how are you actually selling it. If you're selling the small chunks, that's not you know the full length 16-inch pieces of kindling like those pieces I'm throwing out there. Um, and how hard is it to get it into a bag? I'm kind of curious about that. So I guess now I'm going to go dump this load and then come back and do it again. I'll be right back. Told you I'd be right back. Here I am at it again. Um, yeah, it's, there's a lot of chunks in here. You can see as I'm pulling out some of the bigger chunks as I scoop these up. And it's such a, a mess when you get down to the bottom after splitting and cutting in the same spot. And see, I'm pulling out all the, the chunks that I can use. And if I get, you know, pieces that are stackable, I'll throw them back in and they'll get stacked. And then the small pieces, which are, you know, shorter pieces that are, you know, from undersized um, round that I have. If I get those, I, I throw those into my cookie bin, like that stuff there is good for kindling. And, I try to sort some of it out, but I don't get too picky because, I, like I said, I just don't have time to go through all that. My main business is selling face cords, and full cords, and larger quantities to either people that are heating with wood or homeowners that are having, you know, backyard fire type things or campground type stuff. Uh, my average client that I sell to buys right between 
two to three face cords, so almost a full cord. It's like 2.5 face cords is what the average is. If I if I added up everybody all together in a whole year, including if they bought you know one face cord two or three times, or if they buy multiple full cords at one time, if I take all my clients, divide it out, it ends up being like 2.5 or 2.6. Uh, face cords, so almost a full cord is kind of the average, and that's what I'd rather do. I, I really don't want to sell anything small. That, and I've been asked, you know, what's my minimum for delivery? And the minimum I'll deliver is one face cord or a third of a cord, and uh, that really is, you know, the smallest amount I want to do. I've had people ask me quite a bit, you know, will you deliver a third of a face cord, which would be not a lot of wood and it's really not worth my time so for the few people that want that I just tell them hey I'm gonna be in the wood yard this afternoon you can stop in and pick it up and it's usually people that are doing smoking and they want hickory or cherry or something like that so those are the few people that I will do that for and they're usually repeat clients people that will call me and say hey I bought a face cord from me I need a little bit more can I stop and get it so I've done it that way so now we're gonna speed things up Well, I got this whole area all cleaned up. It looks all spicky span and clean. I raked up all the debris and hauled it away. I took all of the uh, pieces of kindling down right over here and I stacked them up. That's half of that is from that half a load of maple. So that's basically about what I would get in a full truckload for kindling, something about that much. So there'll be more in here, but I'll just keep stacking it up and we'll bundle that later. So now I made a little hole over here and uh, what I'm going to do now is put down a pallet right here and then work my way that direction. And this will get boxed in. I mean, I'll, be able, I'll leave a path through here, but I'll, I'll still be able to get at it because all this stuff will be sold going this direction or coming from that direction. So, But i got a corner here I have to work on, so I don't know if I'll do a couple rows that are, you know, doubles together, not, not triples down through here I don't know for sure if I'll go this way but I'm gonna start right here with another pallet right in this spot and then work that direction on um, this pile here I went six feet high with it because I had to to get to clear wood out because I just had too much wood in this one area and I would have ended up going that way farther than I wanted to because I kind of want to leave this area open so I can turn around in here and eventually do some work in there in that area and by going six feet high by eight feet, each one of these rows is a half of a full cord, six feet high. So there's a full cord if I take this row and this row, and then it'll be a, a, a cord and a half in the last row. So if somebody wants to buy from me, say, five face cords, I can take this whole pile and then an additional one, and that'll be just what I need. So. That's what's there, and uh, that'll work good. So now I'm gonna start here and go that way. Here we go again.
The stackage for today is complete. That is all I have time for. I got a little bit done. I got the rest of that row completed and I finished stacking this a little bit higher and then I did this row right here and I made another nice big hole here. So now I can put down another pallet right here and then that stuff can be sucked in this way and then I can go that direction. And then I'll probably start another pallet like right here and then go into the pile that way because I want to keep the stuff this way. Started throwing chunks out over here again. There was more chunks I found in there. And uh, I've been throwing some of the small kindling pieces out too. Uh, but tomorrow I'm gonna go that way. If I could get a full day on the rest of this, I think I could get it done in one day. I don't know, that's a big pile. Goes quite a ways. It's a lot of wood, but I would love to get it done as soon as possible because it's oak and it takes longer to dry. So I want to get off the ground. And down in here, I did find pieces like this right here. See the mold? I don't know if you can see the mold growing on this piece right here. And there's some down inside of here too that I found that are like this one right here has some mold going on it. This is not as bad as I was last year though. Last year I got down in here and this stuff was just soaked and wet. But again, we haven't had rain in a while, so it has been drying in the pile. Now, if I had a tractor, I could just tumble the whole thing over and over, just like uh, windrows making hay and I could roll it and I could get the bottom turned over and, and get it to dry without having to stack it. But I'd still have to stack it to put it into, um, you know, for the trailer and the truck for delivery so that I'd know how much wood I'm delivering because there's no way of knowing if you just throw it in. Um, but by doing it this way, stacking these in full cord piles like you see over here, I'll be able to just throw them and go. So it's going well and it's starting to warm up. It's getting hotter and hotter out here every day. So pretty soon it's gonna be, I'll be down to my underwear. I'll be sweating out here. Whew, you don't wanna see that. So tomorrow I'll be back. We're gonna go that way in the pile, I think, or maybe we'll do some cutting. I don't know, I've got that log pile, that log pile, the big one up there. Plus I've got three logging jobs pending that I can go cut anytime I want. So I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. We'll see, you should come back, it'll be fun. Between now and then, get outside, get cutting. Good night to you, Irene.